Hi guys, Dan's Dollars here. We are back with Dan's coin review and valuations. Two very interesting and stunning coins to look at today. We have got the Gibraltar one penny coin featuring the Barbary Partridge. And we've also got the Malaysian 2005 one sen coin. We will indeed start with the one penny coin. This is actually a territory coin. It is from Gibraltar. And we will turn it over to see the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II looking to the right. Elizabeth II, Roman numerals for two. Gibraltar, again, where the coin is from, on the left, 2001, the year the coin was made at the bottom. Between the year there and the bottom of Queen Elizabeth II's neck, you can see the lettering IRB. Those are actually the initials of the designer of that side of the coin, Ian Ranked Brody. We will once again turn the coin over to see the Barbary Partridge. One penny the coin's face value in, in lettering at the bottom, one penny at the top. If you are lucky enough to own one of those one penny coins, one pound for a perfect uncirculated, 50p for a circulated version, really still not bad, 50 times the coin's face value. We'll move on to the second coin then, the 2005 Malaysian one sen coin. On the back of the coin, a really nice simple picture there of the Rabana Ubi drum. Flipping the coin over then to the front, we see Bank Malaysia there at the top, the hibiscus flower in the middle. One send the coin's face value and either side of the value of the coin, 2005, the year the coin was made. We will now look at the mintage figures of the one send coin, exactly how many was made, and then we can work out the coin's true value. So back in 2005, there was actually 437 million one send coins made for circulation. Definitely a task that you would not want to do on your own by hand. That incredibly high mintage figure, therefore, does unfortunately mean that this coin is only worth its face value. If you do want to pick one of these up online, 50p for a perfect uncirculated. You can get these for around the 10 pence mark for circulated versions. Again, definitely worth investing in a mixed lot if you are looking to buy one, as you will be paying a lot more for the postage than the actual coin. So if you do see a little mixed lot on eBay with a few of these in there, definitely worth buying as the designs are lovely. As always, if you do have any questions or want any coins featured in these videos, please do comment them below. Have a really nice weekend, everyone. Stay safe, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.